Hey, this is MD Trucker Sensei. Thanks for watching my video. If this is your first time seeing me, please don't let it be your last. And one thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hello, everybody. It's MB Trucker 68. How's everybody doing today? Um, I want to make a video today. Today's uh, video is going to be called Don't Wait to Get Something Until You Try to Change. And what I mean by that is, is you know, us as individuals, including myself, we always wait to get, you know, a sickness or a disease, then we want to make a change. So, you know, don't wait to get sick, don't wait to get a disease, you know, don't wait to come down with something and decide, oh, you know what, let me change now, like most of us, you know, and like I said, I was guilty of that. Um, you know, in my case, you guys all know, but if you don't know, you know, I came down with diabetes a year ago, and then, you know, so I decided to change after that, but, you know, and before that time, I was warned by my doctor that you know, I'm pre-diabetic, if I don't make a change, I'm going to get diabetes. So... With that being said, you know, just want to say, don't wait for something to happen, you know, before you make a change. Because sometimes it's too late, sometimes it's not. You know, I got one of my, um, I got a friend of mine that, um, he goes by Chuck Chillout. And you'll see him, he's in a lot of my comments. He's, he's one of my biggest haters, as a matter of fact. You know, as far as comments are concerned, he's always hating in the comment section. <laughs> but, um... Uh, I actually have a couple of friends that just come to my video just to read the comments, you know, for this idiot. But anyway, um, the reason I brought him up is that, you know, he, when I first started this, you know, I, you know, was kind of telling him that I'm stopping eating turkey and, um, well, you know, processed turkey, processed lunch meats and all that stuff. And I said, that's why, I be, you know, because I used to eat that a lot myself. I used to eat a turkey sandwich daily, you know, sometimes two, three, four of them. You know, throughout the period, you know, the course of a day for lunch and stuff like that. And, um, you know, and hey, that's why, as you can see, I can't have with diabetes. But, with that being said, you know, um, when I told him I was going to stop doing it, he thought it was crazy that I wasn't going to be eating bacon no more and, or, you know, hot dogs and stuff like that. But, um, the reason I brought him up, though, is that, you know, he told me, I don't know, probably about a month ago that he wasn't really defecating no more. He said, hey, I just, I, I'm not going to the bathroom no more. And I was like, whoa. And then he told me that his brother, have, he haven't really been defecating like for the last seven years. Now, I ain't going to say he never go, but in the last seven years, he's been having problems. He haven't been going that much. So, you know, uh, but he didn't really think none too much of it. Then last Sunday, um, last Sunday, he said his brother was at home and, you know, his stomach started hurting real bad. He threw up. And then on Monday, he was just hurting really bad. He went to the hospital and come to find out, you know, he had a, um, a tumor the size of a, a baseball or a lemon in his colon. And then he has stage three, you know, colon cancer now. So it's just, you know, I mean, it's, you know, just, you know, if you're not going to the bathroom, people, something is wrong. Just, you know, just remember that. Don't, don't let that go on, you know, unnoticed. I've had a cousin, you know. Um, she died of colon cancer also, like about a year or two ago. Um, so just something, you know, just, so I just wanted to just break, you know, bring that up, you know, don't wait to get sick and, you know, see, see something like that abnormal, you know, take notice of it, you know, because, you know, you know, if you get cancer, as you know, that's, that's some serious business right there. So I just wanted to, you know, bring that up and now, but anyway, now, so the friend was Chuck Chillout and he's doing, you know, he's now uh, him personally, he's been doing things now and he's um he's actually juicing now and stuff like that and he's actually doing better but you know like i said it's unfortunate for his brother he still has stage three colon cancer so i want to just you know make a quick video and just you know talk about that but just just remember that you know don't wait to get sick to want to make a change just remember if you're doing something and you know you know it's not right well if you keep doing it just you know remember you um Nobody's exempt from, you know, the stuff I'm talking about. So, um, okay, well, you know, I just wanted to make a little quick one. I just want to, you know, just throw that out there. You know, I like just giving little examples and stories of things like that. So, okay, well, thanks for watching. You guys take care. And don't do drugs. Thanks for making it to the end of my video. Like I said earlier, if this is your first time seeing me, don't let it be your last. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.